Hi, it's Chris here from Discovery Learning. In this video, we'll be taking a look at something new that we've been cooking up in the lab, which is a working leaderboard system built inside of Learn-LMS. Leaderboards are an integral part of gamification, because gamification in itself is all about tapping into the human need to be the best at something and to show off our skills and accomplishments to others. In an LMS, a leaderboard can make an activity or course more engaging as it encourages competitiveness within teams and a greater sense of accomplishment. I'm highlighting a nice article here written by Christopher Pappas of eLearning Industry who talks about leaderboards driving competitiveness within corporate eLearning. So our solution is rather simple yet effective with lots of scope for customization. So here in my Learn-LMS, I'm going to log in as our test learner account. The details of which are on the homepage of our site. So here in the learning profile, you can see that this account is enrolled on a course titled Game-Based Learning in Action, which demos a number of our game-based learning examples that we have produced over the past few months. This course is set as an open course within LearnDash, but I've logged in just so that I can get access to our labs menu section here, which does require a login to access. So in this course, I have a fun game-based learning activity, which I've developed in Articulate Storyline. You see right at the start that we capture the learner's name, which is stored inside a variable within Storyline. So I'm just going to write Dave L into this box for Dave Learner. And then a little later in the module, we play the main game, which involves staring closely at this image for a minute and then trying to recall all of the colors within the image. The number of correct colors identified is then stored as another variable inside of the game. Right when we get to the end, we have the ability to boast about our score on Facebook and Twitter, as you can see. And then to finish, we have this button, which will end the game and submit the score to the leaderboard. The score in this case is 22. So to explain what happens when this button is pressed, a piece of JavaScript code activates within the game which sends the variable information over to a customised leaderboard page within our LearnDash platform. The PHP file within this page then passes the variable data and sends it over to be stored in our MySQL database which also runs the WordPress site. And upon successful completion, the iframe here is then set to load a thank you message to convey to the learner that the process has completed successfully. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so there is the success message to say that the data was sent from the game. So now let's go into our Learn Dash Labs and take a look at our leaderboard. And here is the leaderboard page for the Colouring Book Memory Challenge with a number of attempts already here by people that have played in the past. And as you can see, Dave Learner Scott is right here, 22 points at the bottom. So you'll notice that I've kept the style rather basic on this page, but this whole area could potentially be themed in any way with images and captions, etc. across the screen. And you can see that the name variable here is grabbed from the game itself, but the next step for us will be to work on a second version which will automatically take the learner's full name directly from LearnDash and store that within the leaderboard without the user even having to type anything in Storyline. And I already have a good feeling that this can be done because we have successfully managed to transfer data into Storyline in the past via JavaScript. So we just need to work out the best way to do this with LearnDash. So that is our working leaderboard system built inside of LearnDash LMS. We love working with clients that want to make game-based learning a part of their delivery model for their courses. And we look forward to implementing this feature with our future clients. Many thanks for watching.